So what is up guys, you got your boy Jet Stinger in here today and today, today, today we are here to do our clear of the EX Kraken stage. We're going to do this live, just straight up commentary, so I might start a little bit here and there, but I'm going to give you guys my best tips that I can go for for doing this fight. Anyway, so this is the team we'll be using, we'll be using all the Italia Ryza collab characters because they all have a good niche in this fight. Claudia is going to be really good because she can dispel. Uh, Lila is going to be our main DPS. You can traditionally use any blue DPS you want. You can technically even use like characters like O4 and Ruri uh, because they are good for cleaning out the um, they're good for cleaning out the ads. But Ryza is going to be uh, going to be also trying to give us defense down, also stopping some buffing if we can do it. But anyway, let's do it. So for our team, we have Claudia going just before the boss, I mean just after the boss, because we want to dispel its defense buff, and Claudia has a really high chance of dispelling, and then we're going to follow that up with Lila to get some nukes in. We hopefully get the defense down with her S3, and then Lila's going to get some big, big damage in, and then of course Ryza will do her S3, more so be on a strict S2, S3 rotation, or S3, S2 rotation, my bad, so there's that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so there we go. As you can see, I'm right, I'm literally just a tiny speck away from the boss. So anyway, I can always just go right for the S3, dispel away its buff, and hopefully get that defense down. If I get the defense down, then that's good. Because it means Lila's going to do a lot more damage. Which we do, but we do not get the dispel. Unfortunate. So that means our, our nuke burst turn here isn't going to deal as much. I think she's going to do about 15k. But that's still something. So we are still going to go for it. Okay, 16k. It's a little bit better than what I was expecting. We are going to go for... This... Now you're probably wondering why am I not deploying Guardian yet. I'm not deploying the Guardian yet because these guys don't hurt. They don't hurt. So I really want to deploy it so I can at least negate one of the Kraken's attacks. So as you can see, look at that. Not, not a lot of damage, even though that was, you know, type uh, resistant. But anyway, let's try to see if we can get that Dispel off now. Thankfully, we have multiple chances for Dispelling. So. Okay, we got it off that time. Now we're gonna read the now we're gonna deploy the guardian. Because the big one should be attacking us soon. So and we wanna make sure we negate that. Now for the turns here until we get our uh burst turn back, what we're really gonna be doing is we're just gonna be having Lila attack the big Kraken. And we even got a follow through, which is nice. Um I'm gonna have Ryza attack the small, the small ones. The reason why I want them to do that is strictly because when we enter second phase, we don't want the add-ons active. We just want them completely wiped from resistance. So that's that's what that's what our strategy is gonna be for now. Just try to get rid of these add-ons as quickly as possible. And of course, adding these follow-ups will definitely be helping with that. We also got the defense down extended. So that means we can go for a nuke next turn, hopefully? Question mark, maybe? So it's gonna go for a heal again. We are gonna need it after all, because it is gonna get its attack off. Which will hurt. But it's fine. We are, we're, we're still tanking, we're still tanking. I'm gonna attack this one instead, because that one's gonna die soon anyway. But we will nuke here. We are definitely going to get a good hit in. See, look how much difference of damage that is. It's like, that's easily 50k. So now this one's going to be able to swap over to its next form. Which is what we wanted, so... Here we go. Let's just do this for now. It won't attack me because, yeah, it's at 1% now. So let's go ahead and do this. 
That should get rid of all the small ones too. We got we got rid of the barrier. So now we're kind of just in cooldown mode now. So let's do as much damage as we can. So he blocks out my mark, which is annoying, of course. Now we're going to do this, of course. Just to push up uh, you a little bit. So Frenzy Flood's going to come out. We get the follow-up. No defense down, but let's see if we can get that dispel, though. Okay, nice, we did. So our nuke turn won't be strong. It will just be like, I guess maybe regular damage. If Ryza does counter here, that's good. But let's go ahead and just do this. Just to make sure that we can uh, block out that Frenzy Flood. And... Don't think we can dispel here actually. Can we dispel? We can't dispel. Unfortunate. So our nuke turn won't be as strong then. Unless I wait a turn, but I don't think that's really necessary. Uh oh yeah, the spell is gone. Nice. We uh, we took care of it, never mind. So there we go, we're gonna get the stun. Uh, we're gonna get Ryza stunned, which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Uh, let's just do as much damage as we can. It's completely fine, because even if Ryza stunned, we still are gonna be in a good spot here. Let's just do a little bit of pushing. There we go. Just kind of space it out a little bit. Let's deploy our Guardian. This will heal Ryza out of her uh, out of her stun status. This is next turn we can counter. Boom! We got a defense drop. That's good. So that means Lila should be able to finish it off and dead. That's gonna be your victory. So, generally speaking, you want somebody who can do a defense down debuff because it's gonna make it a lot. Because this thing is very tanky. Big DPS, so we use Lila for that. You can use characters like Ginga. I believe Serial was even used for this. That's what I'm running with a Serial, so that's gonna be helpful there. This spell, some people say this spell isn't that important, but it's helpful enough to the point to where it, it, it provides reason. I would say bring the spell because it, it helps. Trust me, it's been helping. And Morris, of course, is going to be our go-to healer. She's pretty much one of the best ones we have at the moment. And of course, you get 150 of these and one of these every single time. You do it for every day. So make sure you do so you can get those arguments for Claudia. So you can get up her UE if you are planning on using Claudia, which I am actually because you never know, the spell might come in handy. But anyway, let's kind of go over the team and its gear. Keep in mind the gear isn't the greatest, but it's just generally for what I have, what I have available at the moment. So let's just go to upgrade, and this is what mine is running right now. Just running attack and crit, kind of like a, a mix of the free, well not the free one, but the mix of just whatever I got from uh sent from uh from the stages that you found me from. I can't remember the stages I was gonna say centaur, but no, it's not. It's a uh, the harpist and the other one but anyway this is what i got for this next is going to be rise this is basically the free to play set the one that you get normally you would do crit damage and um crit damage for her i still got 280 crit damage which is still really good 5k attack and 280 crit damage is still really good so that was a reason why she was hitting so hard uh we have claudia for speed a little bit of hp uh we wanted her just to have a little bit less speed than the boss so that way when it got its defense up we could just dispel it away immediately 
hopefully stick our defense down so that way our Lila can go in for bigger damage. And we have Morris just with some speed and some HP as well. That's really just all we wanted with our team. I made I made Morris purposely slow, even though I did give her speed gear. I made it purposely slow due to the fact that uh, I wanted to get her to heal after the minions or just after the boss. Either that because the even with the onslaught of the boss and the minions, the team usually does not unless I'm hit, being hit for weakness, which will be Lila's case. It's really the only time, but for the most part, they never really hit Lila. They hit they usually people like Ryza, they hit people like Claudia, they hit people like Morris, and they usually survive. So then I could just heal it up with the S3, then start cycling into my S2, and then go in from there. That's why I didn't want it to be super, super fast. But that's generally going to be it there. Hope you guys are having fun with the sec part. It's been I personally I'm loving this part because I'm able to get so many units up and running. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But anyway, it's been your boy Justin. See you next time. Peace.